Hello, guys. Hi, Hi, teacher. Good evening. What happened? Something happened. I don't know. I don't know because. Hasta les mandé un mensajito because no lo veía. Quizás se me quedó trabada la compu en algún momento. Ahora está estaba solito en la reunión. Okay. Only the lonely, you know. Yes, only lonely. The lonely. Just let, let me inform. Okay, good. Well, sorry. I had to fix that, that little problem that we had. Okay, so let's get started then. Here, let me see. Computer, I'm gonna share this one. No. Okay, here we are. This is the second one, and this is where we stopped yesterday. Okay, and this is what we have. Okay, here it says, hey, instructions listen to Jason and Barbara, talk about their vacation and write the answers to each person, okay? So look and listen to what they say. We have Joseph and me. Good, good for you. Don't hear the, the audio. Didn't teacher. hear it, okay. No, my goodness, don't, okay, here. Listening, welcome back. Now, yes. Listen yes. to Jason okay. and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay. 
So here we have where did Jason go? Then we have yes. the, where? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco, right? And did he enjoy it? Yes. 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 He did. He did. Yes, he did. he did. Okay, where did Barbara go? He stayed at home. home. Okay, he stayed she at stayed home. at home. Stayed at home. And did she enjoy it? Yes. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. See. Okay. There you go. So then we have, for example, this is a talking about about a vacation. No, just listen for. It. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. Okay. Now, no questions about vocabulary or expressions? No problem. Okay, that's the end because with this one we finished the the we had a great great time section, which is section two, and now we are going to start with the section three. Okay, but it's there. There we go. Okay, so in the next one we are going to see, for example, what's your neighborhood like okay what's your neighborhood like and then it says in this session participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town pay attention to there is there are one any and some okay these are kind of quantifiers Welcome everybody to section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh. Yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? <laughs> okay. There is a little, a little bit of sarcasm, right? <laughs> the lady, right? So then there is a barber shop too. Okay, good. If you see here, there is just, uh, well, this is about neighborhood a, like, as we always do. We directions, okay, how to give directions or location, right? Talk about where some places can be located. Listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? 
Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Barber shop? Okay, good. Yes, there are some. Now, let's see. Uh, we're going to practice. Okay, Coil, can you read the part of uh, Jack? Okay, you're going to be Jack, the Shaggy Man. Okay. And Urania, you're going to be Mrs. Day. Okay, Mrs. Day. Okay, teacher. Use all the sarcasm possible, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moped in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> Okay, good. So you need to hear, have a haircut, right? Okay, good. Now, Robert, you are Jack. Okay, and Norma, you are Mrs. Day. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Excuse yes. me. I'm, I'm just moving in. Oh, sorry, sorry. Excuse me. I, I don't know, I don't know neighborhood. Uh, Jack, I just moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, good. Nice. Excellent. Now we have uh, two more. Okay, uh, Freddy, you're going to be Jack. And let me see if we can find, okay, Suli. Suli, you are going to be Mrs. Day. Okay. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Uh, excuse me. I, I am your, I am your you. neighborhood. Yeah, neighbor. I'm, neighbor. Uh -huh. Neighborhood. No, neighbor. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I'm your na new neighbor. Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there are any around here? Yes, there are some on um, Pain Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's um, a cross from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Too. Okay, good. Now, Suli has an echo. Okay, did you hear the echo that Suli has? All right. <laughs> All right, good. Now, Betsaida, you're going to be uh, Mrs. Day. And let's see, we have another. Enrique. Okay, Enrique, you're going to be Jack. Okay. Excuse me, I am your neighbor, your new neighbor, Jack. I should move in. Yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around around here? Yes, there are some on Pie Street. Oh, good. And is there a long run near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. 
By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Just in case. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah, just in case you need it. Okay. Noel and Marilyn. Okay, you are the last two, okay? Okay. Excuse excuse me. A new neighbor. Neighbor? Neighbor. Jack. I I just moved in. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. I can't. Look in the picture. Yes, I know. Okay. Uh huh. <clears throat> okay, okay. Well. <laughs> well. Well. I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. You need a haircut, right? Well, grandmothers, right? The, all people are like that. Okay, good. Excellent. Questions about vocabulary or expressions? Do you have any doubts? Neighbor. Vecino, right? People that... Neighbor. There is a difference between neighbor and neighborhood. Okay? Remember, neighbor and neighborhood. Right? So these are the two... The, laundromat. The, laundromat. Laundromat is a place where you can go and wash your clothes okay uh, I don't do, do we have laundromats in El Salvador it's not a dry cleaning right it's not a dry cleaning dry cleaning no it's this is um, uh, lavanderias but where you take your clothes and you wash it uh -huh. okay. and I and, and I pay uh-huh and wow. you pay okay. you pay for the washing and for the drying Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. I don't know in, if we have yeah, in El Salvador this kind of service. Probably. Yes. Yes. yes? yes. Where, Enrique? Yeah. Um, in, for UCAS oh. University. Okay. Mm. Oh, probably, right? Probably because there are many, many students. Or yes. The people that come from from uh, other cities, right? To San Salvador mm -hmm. for one week, two weeks. Okay. Yes, because this is the laundromat service, okay? Good. Uh, what else? Then there are some prepositions like uh, around here, on Pine Street, and then we have the, there is one across, across from the shopping center. One across. across from is on the other side of the street, right? For example, mm -hmm. the, we have enfrente de, right? Across mm -hmm. from. Uh, now that you mentioned UCA, for example, across from UCA, there is a call, a call center, right? There is a call center. I think the name is Get, get One Com. Link. Or oh, One Link. Get, uh -huh. com, get com, One Link. Okay. So then that is the across from UCA, okay? On the other side of the street. Okay, so you have a neighbor across from your house. Okay, so this is across from. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, uh, by the way, I now remember. A propósito. A propósito. Uh -huh. By the way. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you this. Oh, I forgot that. Okay, so by the way. What else? Looking for. Es buscando. Yes, ah, looking okay. for, okay. Uh, let me see. Look for, yes, only that one. Look for. Okay, when you are looking for a place or looking for something. I'm on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? 
a barber shop. Good. Okay, so here we have there is, there are, and this is for existence, right? When we have something or when we don't have something. Okay, but before we move into this one, just let me check here. Okay, do you remember the meaning of there is? Yes. Okay, there is is in singular. Okay, and also for a uh, uncountable things. Okay, for example, there is one car is singular. There is some sugar, there is some coffee. Okay, this is uh, for uncountable things. And there are is for uh, plurals. When we have there are five fingers in my hand, there are seven days in a week, there are a, let me say 60 minutes in one hour, okay, there are 12 months in one year, okay, something that exists, right, something that we have. And what about any? When do we use any? Any and some have similar meanings, but we use it in different moments. When do we use any? In, yes, Norma? In this moment, for example, any question? Uh-huh. And that any question is what? In this moment, in, in present. Yes, but it's uh, a, what kind of sentence? Oh, um, what kind of sentence? What kind of sentence is it? Affirmative, negative, interrogative? Oh, affirmative. Maybe. Affirmative? Uh huh. Any questions? Oh, interrogative. Interrogative. <laughs> All right, very good. So, yes. so. Oh, no, no, it's okay, no problem. Good, thank you. Okay, any, we use any in questions and also for, what else? There is another one, hay otra más. In there, for example, are there any questions? And then you say, no. No. There isn't any. There aren't, right? If I say, are there any questions? No, there aren't any questions. You say, but it can be, right? Is there, is there, a, is there a, say, is there a question? No, there isn't any questions. Okay, so there isn't any question. There, and then you can use any in negative sentences. Mm -hmm. Okay, any is for negative sentences and for interrogative or questions. And some, what about some? It's for the only one left. ¿Cuál falta? They have interrogative, negative. Affirmative. The affirmative sentence, right? There are, let me see. There are 12 people. There are 12 people in this class. There are some girls, some ladies, and some men, okay? But remember that when we say some, not uh, a specific quantity, right? Some is a general, general sentence, okay? There are some, uh, and you can also use it, use it for a uncountable nouns too. For example, there is, voy a hacer igual que la viejita que está en el conversation, right? It says, there is some noise. There is some noise in the class. Okay, where is the noise? There is some noise. Hay un poco de ruido, right? 
say there is some noise. Okay, you can say that there is some, and then or there isn't any. Okay, good. Now listen to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to our session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. You want to know if there is a place near you, you do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If your answer is yes, there is, you may continue by saying, yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay. Now we're going to listen to... Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This, this one again, and pay attention, for example, to the prepositions on, next to, near, close to. These are similar, okay? Near and close to, across from and opposite, okay? So it's opposite corner, across from, on the other side of the street, in front of, uh, in back of, behind. These two are similar, between and on the corner of, okay? Pay attention to the use of this because in front of is like to be a adelante de, right? No enfrente de, right? Like when you go to the movies, the person who is uh, aquí adelante is in front of. And the screen is across from. Okay? So that's a, there is a difference. Teacher. We we'll learn to ask. Uh -huh. uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, what is oh, opposite? Opposite. Opposite? Uh, opposite? Opposite corner, so like como la esquina opuesta. Okay? okay. Like on the other side. Okay, for example, you can go to, if you go to, uh, let me see, Torre Cuscatlan, right? Across from Torre Cuscatlan, there is a McDonald's, right? Perfect. Like, Thank you, teacher. Just that would be like the opposite corner. Okay. Ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? 
Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't. But there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, Is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, Yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each chin is next to the public. Is on May. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. Okay, when we have it's on Main Street. Okay, the post. What is on Main Street? On Main Street, we have the post office, Joe's Gym, and my goodness, what is the name of this? All days department store, right? And also the gas station and the public library. One, two, three, four. These five places are on Main Street. Okay. So when we say on, is for example, what places can we find on Los Proceres Boulevard? We can find a hypothecary bank. Uh, Burger King, Wuka University, uh, what else? Dollar City, I guess, right? There is a Dollar City. What else? Epa, 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 uh -huh. Epa, Epa hardware store. There is an Epa hardware store. And uh, dealers. And car, car dealers. dealers. Uh -huh, the car dealers, yes, okay. So these places are on, okay, on that street. Okay, next one. Street. The gas station is next to the public library. And then you use next to, okay. Next to, you can see the gas station next to the pi uh, public library or vice versa, right? The public library next to the gas station. You have a post office next to Joe's gym or Joe's gym next to the post office. You can use Joe's gym uh, next to Day's department store or you can say uh, all Day's department store between, okay, Joe's is, Joe's gym is between the department store and the post office, between. Okay, that would be entry. The shopping center is close or near the public library. Okay, you can use close, near. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. Okay, here they use across from. This is on the other side of the street. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind. For me, the plaza should be also across, but they use in front. Behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between 
First National Bank, and the grocery store. Okay, between? The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand. And then you have on the corner of. Would you mention the corner? Gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay, main and first avenue. Okay, questions? Street. No, there aren't. Any questions? Remember the question is, is there a laundromat near here? Is there a bank near your house? Is there a bank near your house? Then you can say it, uh, eh, no, there isn't. Oh, yes, there is one eh, across from the drugstore, right? But if you don't have a bank near your house, then you say, no, there isn't. Okay, or you can also use, yes, there is one, eh, like five minutes by car. Okay, that means that driving, right? Probably walking is gonna be like 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. Let me see. Enough place. And then you have our uh, excess instructions. Take a look at the map and read the questions and choose the right place according to the direction given. Okay. So, but this one, okay, we can do it later on. Okay, now, what are some places now we're gonna practice, practice with there is and there are. Think about some places that are near your house using there is or there are. For example, there is, a, a, let me see, there is a, there is a convenient, no, it's not a convenience store. There is a gas station near my house. Okay, like, let me see, like probably four or five blocks. It's near, right, and relative. Okay, there is a, there is a drugstore near my house. A, for example, there, let me see, oh, there is a school also. There is a school near my house. And there, there isn't, there isn't a market, there isn't a market near my house or close to my house. Okay, what are some things that you have? Uh, cinemas, drugstores, hardware stores, uh, malls, shopping centers, gas stations. Okay, think about places and if they are near your house or not near, okay? You can use affirmative, there isn't, or there aren't, or there is, whatever, okay? Who begins with that first sentence? One volunteer. Okay, thank you, Robert. Is there a hotel uh, near here? Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm, Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Maple Avenue, okay. So in case, you're, oh, you're just in the map. Okay, good. So that is the map, okay. okay. And near your house, uh, Robert, is there a hotel near your house? No. Okay. And a gas station? Is there a gas station near your house? Um, is it relative, okay. uh, close? Is relative Re close? Relative, relatively close. Okay. Relative. Yes, remember that by car, some uh, some uh, 
places, some distances can be close, but it's relative. Yeah. It's relative, right? Because if you walk, probably is more time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. By car, if you have uh, four kilometers, is near. By car. Okay. Yes. Five but, or four. Uh huh. Five or four. But if you walk, far four or five kilometers is is yes. a lot. It's a long yes. distance. Yes, right? it's, it's a long 40, distance. 40 minutes. <laughs> Probably, okay, 30 or 40 minutes, you know. <laughs> depends. <laughs> depends how you how you run, okay, how you walk, okay? Yes. Okay, tiene que pensar en algo que le dé miedo para correr, and then, okay, so you have to go fast. <laughs> okay, good. Urania, anything, any places near your house? What places? A discotheque? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Hey, that's, that's nice. Okay. Porque vivir así alejado también es bueno de todo. Okay. It's good, right? In some, yeah. in, in some uh, let's say, for example, uh, for me, I have like the closest, the closest uh, gas station is like two, three kilometers or four. Okay, the drugstore is like one kilometer maybe. Okay, so by car is close, but walking is 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 more. Okay, then uh, what other things? Okay, tell me some things that you have, uh, let's say near your house, Joel. There is a bookstore near here. Okay, good, what else? Um, there is a, there are many banks. There are many banks. Okay. That's good. Uh, near my house by car. Okay. Ten Excellent. minutes, five minutes, six mm -hmm. minutes. Yes. It's relatively close. Good. And you Norma? Um, the supermarket is near my oh, house. All right. That's um, what, that's five what minutes. Five yes, minutes. Five minutes walking. Okay. Hey, that's that's close. Uh -huh. And the and and the around the gas station. Mm -hmm. In seventeen minutes. In alcaldía municipal. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. City hall. The city hall. City hall. Uh -huh. The city hall is is near or my home. Okay, the city near hall near my house. Mm -hmm. Near your house too. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. City hall. Okay, you are in a very uh, let's say a nice located house, right? So you have very convenient. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Uh, Freddy. Sí. Yes, teacher. Okay. There is a there is a mall close to my house. Okay. That mall is called Plaza Mundo. Okay. And also, and also San San Jacinto's Hill is close to my house too. Ah, okay. Yeah. Near near the teleférico. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, very <laughs> good. Okay, when when they open it, you're gonna you're going to have fun. You're going yeah. to enjoy it. I, I will go. Okay, good. Eh, Noel, what about you, Noel? Any places near your house? Okay, there is a little silence. Okay, and usually, what places do you have near your house? Surely went to sleep, I can't believe it. Uh, she left us here. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Beth Saida, how about you? Okay, um, next to my house mm -hmm. is the PCM. I mm -hmm. don't know how to say this word, but it's headquarters. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, okay. I have and, it, uh, and it's from a P 
PCN is a place where they record a channel. Okay, good. But I don't, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> what channel? <laughs> what channel? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, what channel? <laughs> Headquarters, the headquarters is, you know, like the main offices, right? Las oficinas centrales. Okay, those are the headquarters. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Okay, very good. So okay. then, thank you. Now, who else? Marilyn. Places near your house? Um, there is near supermarket. Uh, there is near supermarket. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there are opposite school. Okay. And there is from a, a car wash. Okay, ah, there is a car wash. Okay. Only that. Only, only that. Okay, very good. Sufficient. Okay. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Uh, let me see, Enrique. You're the last one. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not oh, asleep. You're back, you went to snow, you went to sleep. Uh, um, I, my connection, okay. I have a problem. Okay, but, but I have the first sentence. Okay, tell me. Okay, the supermarket is across from my house. Okay. Uh, the, ph the pharmacy is, is from the supermarket. Okay. Uh, the shop, the shop is tienda, verdad? Uh, it's true. The shop, shop tienda. Uh, pero qué tipo de tienda? Uh, tienda the house. Okay, okay, then that would be like a convenience store, like a convenience store, una tienda de conveniencia, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Convenience store. The tienda. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the tienda. The tienda is between in my house. It, um, the Plaza Venecia is a main street at uh, 10 minutes from my house. Okay, that's good. That sounds okay. nice. You finish. And that's it. Very good. Okay, good. Uh, Sully, I sent you a, a present too. Ahí le mandé el regalo por las sentences al WhatsApp. Okay, so you can, you can check it. Okay. Okay. Uh, there are some tongue twisters. Okay. That we have for, for example, if this says Peter Piper. Okay, then those are for tomorrow. Okay, practice. There is one, two, four, four. Four tongue twisters. Okay, so that you can practice for tomorrow. And the uh, Eh, vamos Thank a tener. Ok, good. Eh, me pidió aquí mi jefa que les repusiera un par de minutos por mi error. I'm sorry. Eh, vamos a aprovechar a, a practicar los verbos, right? Sí, let me see. Tienen la lista a la mano. Yes. Yes. Ok, good. We're going to practice. I don't have. Eh, you don't? Pero está en el WhatsApp, sí. No, eh, aún no me había fijado que no estaba en el grupo de WhatsApp. Va, es ahora. que porque acá no sé, ah, no, por este WhatsApp, por eso no se pueden pasar documentos, I guess. Por lo menos, I don't have the... Oh, I, I will send it to you, the side. Okay. Okay, okay, thank you, Freddy. All right, so then, uh, yes, because... Eh, but if you if you join the group, I can send it to you, no problem. Okay, good. Now let's see the list of verbs. Vamos a ver la primera columna, right? The first column. And we're going to use the pronunciation of T. Okay. Remember that here you just have to see the ache eight. Asked cashed. Checked, cooked, aft, danced, developed, discussed, dressed, endorsed, established, finished, fished, fixed. 
Okay. Hasta ahí vamos a practicar, right? To fix. Y lo demás son lo mismo. Because they have the same pronunciation. But to practice. Uh, let's begin with Urania. Then uh, Norma, then Joel, then Robert, okay? From ache to, okay. to help, help, es más común. Okay, go ahead. Eight, mm -hmm. ast, kast, okay. shek, kut, kot, kaft. Dengs, kaf, uh, kaft, dengst, develop, devil, develop, developed, discuss, uh, developed, developed, discussed, dressed, endorsed, established, finished, fished. Fixed, guest, help. Helped. Help. Okay. Helped. <laughs> Good. Eh, ven el esfuerzo que hay que hacer al inicio, right? For example, that, eh, because we have to use, because we are not used to that. Pero hay que, ahorita hay que exagerarlo un poco para que se acostumbre, okay, la, la articulación. Después es más fácil decir, for example, ate, asked, okay, you don't say today, crashed, checked, cooked. Y como cuando esto, y aquí a la estamos cuando se pronuncian eh, isolated, por separado, hay que hacer más esfuerzo, ¿ok? Pero cuando ya van en una oración es más fácil, ¿ok? For example, I, cook, I cooked last night. I cooked for you, ¿ok? Last night I cooked for you, ¿ok? Cociné para ti, right? I cooked for you. But you don't say, I cooked for you last night. You don't do that, ¿ok? When we speak it's more fluent, ¿ok? So, but in this moment, yes, it's necessary to, to make that effort, okay? Good. Thank you, Rania. Now, uh, Norma? Mm -hmm. Repeat again or next? Yes. No, next. From, a, from ask to help. The same. The same verbs. Los mismos. Uh, okay, okay. Yes. Okay. Egg. Ask. Cash. The tea. Ask. Um, cash. Shake. Cash. Shake, checked, cook, ka, shake, uh, cook, calf, dance, develop, discuss, dress, and endorse, endorse, establish, endorse, establish, finish, fish. Fix, guess, help. Helped. Help. Help. Uh -huh. Se cierra la P, help. Um, ok, aquí se pronuncia, help. se pronuncia la última help. consonante, se dice eight, asked, cashed, checked, cooked, cuffed, danced, developed, Discussed, okay? So then at the end, but the T, el T. Ahí va como la explosión, okay? Good, Joel. The, okay, yes. Act. Ached. Asked. Okay. Crushed. Checked. Mm. Cooked. Coughed. Danced. Del How do you pronounce del? De developed. De developed. How do you pronounce? Developed. Okay. Developed. Discussed. Dressed. Endorsed. Established. Finished. Fished. Fixed. Guest. Helped. Very hopped, good. Okay. 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 Excellent. Okay. That's one. Okay. Very good. Okay, you see, that's it. You can hear the t, t at the end. Okay, Robert. Uh, as eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Asked, cashed, checked, cooked, caught, danced, 
cuffed, mm -hmm. yes, danced, developed, discussed, dressed, endorsed, established, finished, fished, fixed, guessed, helped. Perfect. Very good. Okay, Freddy. Okay. Asked, asked, cashed, checked, cooked, caught, caught, cuffed, caught, cuffed, cuffed, cuffed. Mm -hmm. Okay, danced, developed, discussed, dressed, endorsed, established, finished, fished, fixed, guessed, helped, helped. Hey. Very good. Enrique? H. Ask. Cash. Yes. Check. Check. Out. Tent. Developed. Discussed. Dressed. Endorsed. Established. Finished. Fished. Fixed, guest, helped, helped, hopped. Okay, very good. Hopped. Marilyn. Okay. Eight, asked, cast, shed, cut, cut, dance, developed, discussed, dressed, entered. Established, finished, fished, fixed, guest, held. Perfect, perfect. Uh, well, beside that, you say you don't have it. Uh, Sully? Okay. Edge, at, cut, 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 dance, de developed, discussed, discussed, dress, dis discuss, discuss, dress, endorsed, established, finish, fits, fish, fits, get, helped, helped, helped. helped. Introduce. Helped. 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 Introduced. Helped. I finished. Okay. Yeah. Introduced. Se pasó. Okay. Helped. Eh, Noel, two more. <laughs> okay. Eight. Eight. Ask. Eight. Oh. Uh, eight. Ask. Cast. Eight. Cast. Check, cook, cook, danced, developed, discussed, dressed, endorsed, established, finished, fished, fixed, guest, helped. Helped. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. If you see, okay, now the next step that you have to do is a, probably in this moment you are a little, you know, probably making a, an effort, right? And to say something asked. Okay, try to relax when you are also uh, sounding out these words, like for example, you say eight, asked, hashed, okay? Because then uh, you, feel, you, you, will, you feel more relaxed, all your, relajar todos los músculos, right, of this area. And then you say cashed, okay, cashed. Uh, for example, this one, uh, this one, check. Okay, uh, checked. Urania say check. Only check in present. Uh, check. And one, two, three, four, el cuarto. Checked. I don't know. <laughs> uh, el cuarto verbo, solo diga check. Uh, check. 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 Okay. In check. present, we say check. Okay, Joel, say check. Check. 
No, check. 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 With a K, check, right? Check. And then you say, uh -huh, exactly, check. right, check. And then you say checked. Check. Checked. Okay, check. checked. And then you add the T, checked. Checked. Okay, check. practicing con, con a cached. Ok, and to make the sound. Traten de hacer el último sonido que tienen en presente, como ask, que es la K, y luego t, la SH, sh, cash. Acuérdense de she sells seashells by the seashore. Aquí sirven esos sonidos, cash, cash. Ok, she. Ok, when you say SH, sh, cash. And then the other one that you say establish, finish. Established, finished, fished, and then you have fix, fixed. Okay, good. Then uh, you see uh, this is you know very important uh, for for pronunciation of verbs and the tongue twisters also. Parece huevo y broma, pero les van a ayudar mucho a las pronunciaciones, especially the pickle, uh, Peter pickle pepper. Practiquen ese de la p. Aquí se va a utilizar bastante en esa pronunciación. Esta creo que es la más difícil de las tres en, en los verbos regulares. De ahí la, digamos, la, eh, la que practicamos ayer, interested, accepted, eso son más, es más fácil. Por eso es una extra sílaba. Aquí son dos consonantes fuertes al final. O una, una suave y una fuerte. Ok, people, I'm sorry. I promise not to come late tomorrow. I don't know what happened with the, with the link. But uh, tomorrow I will be on time. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. No worry, teacher. Have a good night. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Bye.